Of course, you know the saying, I scream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Well, you might be screaming if you eat this. This is plastic ice cream. Scientists from the UK have reportedly made the world's first food made from plastic waste. That's right, vanilla, apparently. The ice cream is part of a UK art installation called Guilty Flavors. The artist says it's intended to make people think about new ways to deal with plastic pollution, as well as what we are prepared to eat in the future. Researchers from the University of Edinburgh figured out a way to harness bacteria as well as enzymes to behave as eco-friendly factories that break down plastic into digestible material. However, the scientists involved made sure to emphasize that the ice cream is still a research project and not yet ready for human consumption. We will see. So Guilty Flavors is what I believe is the first sample of ice cream made from plastic waste. Actually, the vanilline contained in the ice cream is what it's coming from, the same plastic as we can find in bottles, plastic bottles. I think it's, it's interesting and necessary to start a debate, but also I really believe we should kind of uh, explore this more. Like, it's, it's so impressive. When I started this project, it was just very science, science fiction and I was only interested in the critical side and you know like pushing boundaries and trying to explore what actually is possible and what is not but during the journey it it was already clear that some species did that some species are eating plastic and some scientists are already looking into that so why not like we should i think we really should look into that more a lot of the comments i've had and the feedback i've had has been concern around this idea of eating something that comes from plastic. And you know, I've even had members of the public email me saying it's it's irresponsible to, to um, encourage people to eat plastic. And I think it's this, this thing that there's this perhaps misconception around what it actually is by the end of the process that it is no longer plastic. But I think as part of that, we it is really important that we take the safety side of it really, really seriously. And we make it very clear that this has to go through exactly the same regulatory processes and food standard processes as any other food ingredient. And only once it's been through all of those would it go anywhere near any kind of consumer product.